Welcome back to our video playlist on the play framework using Scala. So at the end of the last video, we had gotten to the point where we could log in and add new tasks in. And it worked, kind of, in the sense that that was fine. But as soon as we put multi-word values in here, it crashed. It doesn't even print anything here. There's no response, no type of, of message for what's going on. There isn't even an error in our console. Okay, This is just silently going, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, fortunately, if you have some experience with this, you do know what's happening here. The problem is that we build this URL add task to task equals and then whatever string the user passed in okay and remember that's just getting added into here okay, so once again let's uh, let's verify this so let's go to the route task list what's it called um, there's a validate oh create yeah let's go let's call up add task to and let's put in a simple task. Add task two with the task equal to high. Oh my gosh, it pulled up a page for us. Now, this actually wasn't a, quite a complete page. It's You might notice it looks a little bit different. This had no head, no HTML tag. This was just the contents of the body. But it turns out most browsers are set to make stuff up and deal with incomplete pages. And our high is, is added on here. That was because I was already logged in, so I had a session attached to, to this browser, so, so that worked. Now, what if I wanted to add high there? Well, then our URL would look like that. And, okay, now, Chrome did something for me. It automatically changed that space to a percent 20. And that's what needs to happen here. Okay, if the user types in certain characters, there are certain characters that don't go nicely in URLs. Okay, and Chrome is being nice and, and changing some of those for me, but that's not happening in our JavaScript. In our JavaScript, when we add task here, it is exactly what the user put into that field. Even if that's not valid URI characters and it's not stuff that they can type into a URI, it's getting passed through. Fortunately, JavaScript has a nice built-in function to uh, to do this for us. Encode URI component of the task. Now there is both an encode URI. I didn't type that correctly. URI. There is both an encode URI and an encode URI component, and they behave a little bit differently. Uh, in this case, we actually want the encode URI component because it does more encoding with special characters. The encode URI is assuming that you have given it an entire URI, and so it, for example, leaves behind question marks. Okay, and we don't want that. If someone typed a question mark into their task description, I want that to get encoded when, when it goes through. Let's see if that gives us any better behavior. I still have this thing where I just, oh wait, uh, the logout button works. And refresh just to make sure we have a new version. Okay. Login not defined. I have to admit I'm a little confused here. Our view is not what I would expect. There, I think we're still missing a fave icon. Well, I'm still viewing login too. There we go. Okay, that's the page I expect to see. It's un almost unfortunate the browser is doing too much nice stuff for you. Okay, so we have this code in here. Let's make sure. Code, oh, encode, 
I thought I had changed that. Maybe I hadn't hit save yet. I have not hit save. So it still had my original typo where I had IRU instead of URI. Mark, pass. So actually, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. Code Scala. And now that works. Comes through, everything's happy. So we have add, we have remove, we have login, we have create user. Might be good to just check to make sure this is going to log into instead of load to. That's a bug. Our logout page needs to go to load, not login. Okay, try this again, except I'm still on login. There we go. Let's create a user and add some stuff. Okay, and that appears to work. If I log out, and I log in as them again, I still have that, and I should be able to log out. Now I did kind of cheat, note that log out actually does a full refresh for me instead of just pulling up the original page. Yeah, we could probably change that if, if we wanted to, uh, but I'm fine with this for now. There is one bug that I'm not fine with, and that is the fact that if I'm on this page and I hit refresh, I go back to the login screen. Um, that is not the behavior that you expect. Uh, the reason for this is because our login screen, you know, load to, is hard coded to go directly to the login screen. It does not check whether you already have a session. And of course, load to is the only page that we're going to. There's a single page app. Every route on here is load to. Okay, nothing ever changes. It's always load to. Even now when I log out, it does a page refresh, but it does a page refresh and comes back to load to. It's always the same. So we need to make it so that that load does a check to see if we have a, a session. And if we do have a session, so that would be this code right here. If we do have a session that has a username in it, we should give them back their task list. Okay, we should we should take them to their task list with their set of tasks because they've just come back onto that page. It's only the logout that does it uh, that that would take them away from that. And the get or else should uh, the get or else should take you back to uh, the the login page. And in fact, what do I have here? Version two main. Actually, that's not going to do what we want here. Because I do need to pull up this page, but I need that page to vary so that page Shamil version 2 main is this, which has virtually no logic in, in it whatsoever. Uh, this page here is going to pull up a blank page that runs our JavaScript, which is sitting over here, and that always pulls in the login page as the first thing it does. And of course, this doesn't have access to the session. Okay, so this goes back to, this is one of our harder problems to solve. So we have this problem here of reverse routing, I kind of don't like typing in these links because if I go and change the routes file, those links don't work. You know, this, this isn't the ideal way to do this. We would have some reverse routing in here. I, we also have the problem that a refresh takes us back to the login page and that's because our load, when it gives us this page, always fills in the contents with login. And we need it so that it will intelligently 
fill it in with login if there is no session, and fill it in with their task list if there is a session. So we need to figure out how to get information that our Scala code knows into the JavaScript. And we haven't done that yet, but that's really required to, to finish off this version of the app and give it some polish. We'll come back and we'll do that in the next video.